Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Saturday the 1st of May 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember, my readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released, okay? So let's pull the first card. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? I might try something different again. <laughs> What do we have, please, for all signs? Saturday the 1st of May 2021. Message for all signs, Saturday the 1st of May 2021, please. Okay. Yeah, I kind of felt that a message was coming. We've got love and manifestation. I'm going to pull one more card. Fertility. Wow. Wow. So let's pull three cards and see what we get. Okay. <laughs> what do we have, please, for all signs, angels, spirits, guides? And it will be Saturday the 1st of May 2021, please. Message for all signs. Thank you. I'm going to shuffle one more time. It's interesting because the Empress is coming up. Uh, again, this fertility energy is very Empress energy. So we've got the Two of Wands. Seven of Cups, Page of Swords, oh wow, <laughs> uh, we've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of this deck, okay, <laughs> for some of you, oh my goodness this is lovely, so the Two of Wands can be a choice but someone's already made their choice really, this person grabs this wand and not the other. So, I mean, this can be about taking action towards a new path, how making choices about your future and um, taking action or steps towards, you know, how you want to shape your future. It feels this is to do with a committed relationship or marriage. You know, and how you want this to unfold, display love, show love, how this love emerges and grows. You know, it can be this kind of energy feels very beautiful because for some of you you want to manifest a hope dream wish and interestingly enough you can see top left corner there there is the empress so for some of you there is a hope a dream a wish and I'm getting this empress energy of of fertility now for some of you I'm feeling you're wanting to create a family it could be pregnancy it could be pregnancy It feels quite strongly to do with pregnancy here um, because this is about now is the time. There's such promise around you. You know, the Seven of Cups is a card of promise and transformation, deep transformation. It's a Scorpio energy. Um, and Scorpio is linked to the death card, emerging from one phase of your life to another because the choices you make, the decisions that you make, the hopes, dreams and wishes that you're focusing on now to manifest something new is allowing you to merge from one phase of your life to another. And I feel it's in the physical format of a family. You want to either add to a family or it could be first pregnancy here. I love it. I mean, you know, it feels the cards are very clear. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> um, Page of Swords is news. Uh, learning something, hearing something. It, it feels some of you are going to have happy news and it feels on a pregnancy. My goodness, this is lovely energy. You know, there's such bliss, you know, and I love the imagery of this because it seems to, you know, it's that kind of hazy daydream, the dream here, what you've been working towards. It feels that this is just somebody who's feeling content. Um, the expression of happiness, bliss, you know, it just feels really lovely. You know, it feels there is the creation of something new here. The time is right, the seeds are right for planting. The, the time is right, the conditions are right. Uh, the soil is ready for new seeds to be planted. So for those of you who are thinking about pregnancy, there's definitely a timely message here. Now is the time. 
um, but some of you might also be getting news towards a pregnancy. Now, this is this can be a decision at a crossroads. Do we do it now? Do we not do it now? Someone's making a choice and it feels to go for a hope, dream, wish. Um, so if you're wanting to make a decision of, shall we start a family now or shall we add to our family? The message is yes. There, for those of you who have been trying, there could also be some very happy news coming your way because the Ten of Cups is the rainbow of blessings, the blissful relationship, the happy ever after, being fulfilled. I mean, the, each one of these cups is fulfilled, is filled. Um, and it can stand for all sorts of things, each one of those cups. Being happy in, in work, being happy in providing for your family, being happy with the home, the setting, being happy with the relationship, but also in terms of children and, you know, the family. It's just, it's being fulfilled on every level. That's why it's the happy ever after, because you lack for nothing. There's a bliss energy here. Very exciting for somebody. That is the message I have. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message, please, for Saturday the 1st of May, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message people need to hear the most? To go with this reading, please. Saturday the 1st of May 2021. Thank you. Oh, there's a bit too many cards. Oh, you know what? Well, let's go with it. I've got... Frog stepping into your power, don't take a pack seat in your story. It's time to step up. It might well be to make some decision or choice, you know, or um, what you've been taking action towards. This is about stepping into your power. Because we have crane surrender, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. We have field mouse, success, believe in your, yourself and dare to dream big. Lovely energy. There's some successful news, definitely. And we have honeybee, divine feminine. That's very, very empress energy. You are being called on to rise. Isn't that lovely? Love the energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.